Well, our public accounts committee is back home. Uh, they primarily do agency oversight. We've never done an oversight um, inquiry in terms of aid. And we're more of the recipient of aid than a donor. So definitely, at times, our government would get aid and we don't really know how it's spent. We know it's for specific projects, but we've never held inquiries. So I would like to know the difference between having that type of an inquiry, what to look for in those types of inquiries, um, if we are to do that in the future. Um, well, I was mentioning that we have uh, three different international agreements that are very important for the, uh, the agenda today and to go forward on sustainable development. And I was trying to explain the way that the European Union is, is going to go forward developing three different new communications, one that's both internal and external, so that it applies both to our internal policies from the Union, but also externally. The global strategy that was presented by the HRVP, Ms. Mogherini, last week, and in future there will be a review of the consensus on development that um, is covering both the EU and its member states. I think that parliamentarians are very anxious to play more of a role, but the executive needs to give them more space to do that, both in developing and developed countries. They need a lot of building of their capacity to really understand all of these issues in detail. And the governments, the executives in the countries, need a clear policy around which parliamentarians can rally <coughs> and to which they have a strong impact on, on the design in order to make sure that they can really change the way aid is delivered. Right, and, and what would you add to that? Uh, well, just to add to what um, uh, Matthew said, I think we, we, we clearly hear that parliamentarians want to be involved, not just at the downstream stage, where it's about assessing the impact of aid and the results, but also at the upstream stage, when it's about you know, defining a program of assistance. And it is true that such mechanisms do not exist at this point. But I'm quite optimistic that things will be changing, especially with the Busan, Mexico and agenda, which specifically you know, highlight the role of parliamentarians in the aid effectiveness agenda and in formulating country strategies and programs. Uh, and I think it may change. We just need to clarify how this can happen in practice, taking into account again, you know, the working habits and the absorption capacities of the countries. I think the politicians were very concerned about how aid is being used and seen in their countries um, and wanted more controls and more influence over how that happens. And I think that is a very good point. And what should be the key points that they should take back to their home country from today's session? I think dialogue with DFID, where, the, where we're present in about 28 countries, where we're present, they should be engaging. And one particular member uh, invited uh, there to be much more engagement with parliamentary committees. Uh, and I think DFID could do a lot uh, in its favour. This that. is my first visit to this kind of uh, gathering. So I'm glad to be here today. I think uh, it has been a great opportunity to get information on, on uh, how to manage some of the aid and, uh, um, and the support that um, a lot of the countries are receiving, including Tunisia. Um, the, um, uh, I think uh, we've been able to, uh, to interact with a lot of the participants that came in from the rest of the world, and it has been a really a first opportunity for, for me to uh, get a first-hand um, look at what's going on with other countries and how they manage uh, the aid situation. And uh, this has been a first for us. And, um, and uh, I, th I think uh, a lot more information is still to come. There's still a couple of days to go. So uh, I'm looking forward to finishing uh, and, uh, and assisting in throughout the um, this whole conference and thank you for the invitation and we look forward to doing it again. I think it's uh, really important to meet uh, from all over the country, uh, from, from all, the, all over the globe actually, uh, to meet colleagues from all around and uh, Sweden is a, is a big uh, contributor to uh, development aid and, and I think it's very important to have this ongoing discussion how could we be better as uh, parliamentarians to scrutinize, to, to, to make sure aid is going to the right purposes and, uh, yeah, and, to, and just to meet and get to know each other.